Welcome everybody to the Photoshop tip of the week. I am Woody Walters and let's get on with that Photoshop tip. Hey, you know, last week I introduced the, the particle brushes and I, I got to just really tip my hat to you. So many of you downloaded the free brush and so many of you bought the, the brush set and the images that you're creating are just phenomenal. I can't believe the, the creativeness and, and the impact that, that you guys are applying these brushes to your images. But I got a couple people asking me a couple questions about it and I'd like to answer some of those questions. So, so I got my dear friend here, Tom. Rouse and I'm going to demo on, on him. So we're just going to come up here. I'm going to click on the top one. I'm going to click on the bottom one and we're just going to throw them away. Boom. And so here's the actual image of Tom that, that I did. And it's a really sloppy cutout, but that's okay because I knew I was going to be able to, to do this clipping mask that I wanted to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to clip that, hold down the Alt key and get right between those two lines and we're just going to clip those together. Now you're not going to be able to see anything. So I want to make sure that there's a color here. So I'm going to click on our swatches and we're just going to come down to here and I'm going to click on a deep purple. And so we're going to go right there and I'm going to say cool. And so now I'm going to push that off to the side a little bit here. And now I want to bring up our brush settings and I want to do shape dynamics so we're going to click on that boom boom and I've got it set to 53 48 and then I got it set to flip jitter and so now we're going to make a brush a little bit smaller and now look at this we're using purple here everybody we're going to come down to that layer just underneath it it's clipped to this and so I'm going to get right about where his face is and we're going to hit that boom I'm going to hit it again boom 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 and you can see that it's filling it in with with per, the color purple. And so what's outside of that is showing as purple here. And so I'm just gonna undo that because that was a little bit much. I'm gonna do that when I just went this side. Boom, I'm gonna do his ear a little bit. Boom, good. And now we're gonna get into his face. And now I'm gonna find that hand. I wanna play off that hand. And whenever I don't like my brush, I'm just gonna click in the middle of his face to make sure. We're gonna pull in a little bit over here boom boom good to get that jacket get a little bit more of his head and that's cool now I'm gonna make a mask for that because I didn't like this over here I want to get that out boom 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 just want to play off of that a little bit now we're gonna come back to here and I'm gonna hit that with more purple boom or we can hit it with white on the mask part and just bring back in his eye boom good look at that look at that and so yes you can paint with color and so I'm gonna throw that away I wouldn't recommend that you do that but you can do it so next thing I'm gonna do again I'm gonna clip that again hold down the alt key and now I'm gonna come to this layer I'm gonna make sure that I have black up on top and so now I'm gonna use the same brush again I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna go boom and I'm going to reduce my brush size because it's a little bit big. Boom. 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 I'm going to get that hand. Boom. 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 I want to make sure those eyes are 100%. Boom. 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 Good. Look at that. I don't like that. You know what? I think I'm going to leave this like this. I might get a little bit of his ear. No, too much. Boom. 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 And just a little bit of his head. Boom. And now let's get his face. Just going to make that smaller. Boom. 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 Good. I like that. Let's go with that. And now let's come over here. And I'm going to grab an orange. I'm gonna go with this orange. And we're gonna make our brush as big as possible. So from now, I'm just gonna go to brush tip size. We're gonna make sure that that's set at 5,000. And I'm on that bottom layer there. And we're gonna hit this, boom. Nope, it's too red. I want an orange. We're gonna hit that. I'm gonna make it sure that it's at 5,000 again. And I'm gonna hit it, boom, boom. Boom. Good. And now I'm going to rotate that. Get that going the way I want it to. Good. 
Now we're gonna come down to this layer. We're gonna try another brush. And let's go to our particle brushes. And I'm gonna come down to this one here. Cool. And that one, I wanna use a blue. I'm gonna go strange blue. I'm gonna come right to here, boom. And now we're gonna move that. We're gonna rotate it. Just wanna play off of that. I'm gonna size it a little bit. We're just gonna play off of that. Look at that. Good, good, good. Let's come down here. Let's do two new layers. One, two. And we're just gonna come down to this one. And now I wanna hit that with a purple. Now, I don't know what brush I will use, so let's try our Harley brush. <laughs> and we'll come down to this purple here. I like that dark purple. Let's try that. We're going to make our brush 5,000. We're going to hit that. Boom. I'm going to rotate that. We're going to squeeze it in a little bit. Rotate that just a little bit more. Just let that come out of there. Too much bring that in oh I like that and let's bring that side in I like that a lot let's come down to here and let's get one more brush let's get our I'm gonna grab this brush here and we're gonna grab this blue here and I'm gonna hit that right in the middle and then we'll spin it boom then we'll spin it. We'll get it where we want it. We'll size it. Ooh, I like that. Let's bring that in just a little bit. Bring this out. About right there. I'm going to make a mask for that. I'm going to hit that. Let's hit it with black. Boom, boom. Just soften that a little bit. Look at that, people. God, that's gorgeous. Now I want to hit one more. I want to do a green. We're going to call it good. Because then there's something else I want to show you, and then we're going to call it good. And I think I will use which particle brush? Let's try this one. That should be cool. And let's get a green. I'm going to relatively dark green. And we're just going to hit that. Look at that. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. Another thing you could do, I'm going to turn off all these layers again. Do, 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 boom, boom. And we're going to unclip that. Boom is people I can just make a mask for this too and now I'm going to just grab our regular brush here I'm just going to grab this one we're going to go back to our brush tips and go to shape dynamics we're going to make jitter about 50 we're going to make our angle jitter about 50 and then I'm going to flip X and now I'm just going to come in here we're going to make our brush pretty big at first and I'm just going to hit this I just want to knock it completely out good Come down in here. Good. Now I want to hit this part. Make our brush a little bit smaller. I want to come in here on his face a little bit. Now I want to make sure that that's all knocked out. Good. So I'm just going to come over here and we're going to get this side of his face. Now we're going to come up and get a little bit of his hair up on top. We're going to get this side of his head. And yeah. We can just do this just with masking. As well. Now where it's white on his face, I can go back here and click on white. Bring that back. So we can do that on masking as well. And then we can bring on all of our colors and play off of that. Look at that. Look at that. So people, there's your Photoshop tip of the week. If you haven't downloaded the... the uh, one particle brush that we offered last week. Make sure you go back to last week and download that. I think you'll really 
enjoy that brush there's so much creativity that you can do with this it's amazing um, and then if, if you'd like to purchase a set I strongly recommend that you join the group because what you'll save on your discount what you'll, you'll be able to pay for the groups saving and more so give that a try and so until next week shoot from the heart and shoot with passion we'll see you here at the Photoshop tip of the week <laughs>